Okay, next I'd like to discuss the assignment problem. Let's assume that we've got uh, three persons and we've got three projects or jobs and we need to assign the person to a job. Every person must be assigned and every project must be assigned. Uh, a person can only have one job and a project can only have one person assigned to it. And let's say that these are uh, could be days to complete the project and we want to solve this with the LP and let's define our variables xij is equal to 0 if there's no assignment it's equal to 1 if you make the assignment where i is the person abc and j is the job 1, 2, 3 so we're using our subscripted variables again uh, this is called a binary integer programming problem 0, 1 integer So first, our objective function, we're minimizing our cost, which is in days or time. Uh, we've got our coefficients. I didn't complete that, but um, then we've got the uh, two sets of constraints where the person uh, can be only assigned once. XA1 plus XA2 plus XA3 is less than or equal to 1. Okay, so that's for person A. They can only be assigned a maximum of one job. And you could make that an equality constraint as well, since we've got three persons and three jobs in this example. Uh, then person B and person C. And then the job assignments. XA1 plus XB1 plus XC1 is equal to 1. See that we force the equality on that one. Uh, notice that uh, that's for job 1. This is for job 2, job 3. And of course, non-negativity. You could set it up so that the variables have to be binary, 0 or 1. But with this formulation, you don't have to. It'll come out that way anyway. So, a couple of what-ifs. What if the person's number of persons is not equal to the number of projects? Well, whichever one is less, like in that transportation problem we saw, this is just really a special case of the transportation problem where we're shipping one unit. Um, but uh, if the person's not, e not equal to the project and there are fewer persons than jobs, then what you do is you force the number of persons to work. So whichever one is less, you make that the equality. What if we're maximizing profit instead of minimizing cost? Well, that's easy. We just change the objective function to a max instead of a min. works exactly the same way. What if an assignment is in infeasible? For example, what if person A can't do job one for whatever reason. Well, there's two ways to deal with that situation. You can just leave that variable out. Just don't even include x a1. But if it's already in your model, one easy way to deal with it is just set it equal to zero. Say x a1 is equal to zero. And then do it. I've got this uh, posted on WebCT, the file. ASGEX, I believe, is the name. Go ahead and take a look at the uh, LP and see what the solution is.